10 English Expressions with Business from EspressoEnglish.net The English language has some interesting expressions with the word business, and not all of them have to do with companies or work. Let's learn 10 of these phrases and how to use them. If you are looking to improve your business English, check out my Business English course. Just click on the link in the video for more information. Expression number one, let's get down to business. This phrase simply means let's start working seriously. For example, if you're doing a group project with other students and the other students are chatting about unrelated topics, you could say let's get down to business to express the fact that it's time to begin doing what you need to do, the project. Number two, funny business. This expression refers to dishonest or deceptive action. For example, if there's a politician who was involved in corruption and using money illegally, you can say, he's been involved in some funny business, so I won't vote for him. Number three, business as usual. This means the typical ordinary way of doing things. Nothing is different from normal activity. For example, the leaders of a country might be trying to change the laws about health care, but in the hospitals it's business as usual. This means the hospital workers are continuing their normal work. Nothing has changed. Number four, back in business. Saying that someone or something is back in business means it has returned to normal activity after a period of time when that was not possible due to malfunction, repair, or other bad conditions. For example, if your computer stops functioning and you call a technician to fix it, he might work on it for a while, and when he's done, he might say, okay, we're back in business meaning the computer is fixed and is now working normally. Number five, someone means business. This expression means that the person is very, very serious about something. For example, maybe you and your roommate don't really clean the apartment very well, but one day your roommate gathers the cleaning supplies and says that you're both going to spend the entire afternoon cleaning everything. You could say, I could tell by the expression on her face that she meant business, meaning she was not joking. She was serious about wanting to clean very thoroughly. Number six, do something like nobody's business. If you can do something like nobody's business, it means you can do it extremely well, extremely quickly, or extremely easily. For example, I'm not a great cook, but my husband can cook like nobody's business. This means he is very talented at cooking. Number seven, it's none of your business. This phrase means it's not your concern and is a way to tell someone to stop inquiring about or trying to interfere in your life or affairs. For example, if someone is asking you lots of questions about a personal or private topic, you can say, it's none of your business. Number eight, mind your own business. This is similar to the previous phrase. It's a more forceful way to tell someone, focus on your own life, not on mine. For example, if your friend is constantly asking about your sex life and you're getting annoyed by such personal questions, you could tell your friend, mind your own business, because you want them to stop trying to get information about your life. Number nine, make it one's business to do something. If you make it your business to do something, it means you decide to take on a certain task or responsibility. Again, in the example of a group project, you could say, I made it my business to check the paper very carefully for spelling mistakes before we turned it in. This is a responsibility that nobody gave to you. You decided to do it deliberately. Number 10. Go out of business. 
When a company goes out of business, it means it has no more money to continue operating, so it must shut down. For example, when computers became common, companies that manufactured typewriters went out of business. Now you know 10 expressions with the word business. Try to leave a comment using two or three of them in a sentence. And if you are learning English for work, my Business English course will teach you the phrases and vocabulary you need. From meetings to presentations, interviews, and phone calls, and topics like management, finance, and human resources. Click on the link in the video for more information and to sign up and start the Business English course today.